Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you news on events and occurrences from across the world, particularly in Nigeria. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you can get notification whenever a new post is updated. Once again, welcome on board to Everyday Affairs. Alright everyone, another news for you we have today is about uh, Kaduna State, and which says, Kaduna State Governor Malam Nasiru Ahmed El Rufai has announced the creation of three new ministries and the abolition of three others in a restructuring that is aimed at ensuring smoother running of government. A statement signed by the Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity, Samuel Aruan, Saturday, the newly created ministries by the governor was done through an executive order. The restructuring, however, does not affect the number of ministries in the states, as it still remains at 14. In a major rejig of the governance structure, Malam Nasser Erufai has signed an executive order to create and restructure ministries in Kaduna State. The order abolishes the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Tourism, the Ministry of Rural and Community Development and the Ministry of Water Resources. It amends the mandates of the ministries responsible for local government women and social development, works and sports. The newly created ministries are business, innovation and technology which will coordinate the development of skills, businesses, trade and manufacturing in the state. It also takes over the technology portfolio from the Ministry of Education and is expected to encourage the development of the digital ecosystem in the state. The new ministry will promote tourism and regulate tourism facilities in the state. Housing and urban development has the mandate to ensure the construction and maintenance of public fund buildings and to promote the expansion of the housing stock in the state. It will also be in charge of ensuring the enforcement of development control regulations and the implementation of urban planning and country planning policies and urban renewal programs in the state. Internal Security and Home Affairs has the mandate to coordinate internal security matters and liaison with security agencies in the state. It is expected to enhance the state government's capacity to address security challenges. It will also super supervise the activities of parastatals and agencies performing home affairs functions. Ministries with amended or expanded mandates include human, resource, human services and social development, which will be led which will be the lead agency of the government in promoting and protecting the welfare of women, youth and vulnerable groups in the society. The ministry's mandate is significant expansion of the work of the former Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development. It will monitor the implementation of equal opportunity agenda of the government, develop, develop and implement social protection programs and ensure the promotion and preservation of arts and culture in the state. Public works and infrastructure is responsible for the provision and maintenance of public physical infrastructure like roads, water, broadband and light rail. It will promote collaboration between the electricity, utility and local government councils to provide electricity to rural communities. Sports development will focus on ensuring the arrival of sports in urban and rural areas and encouraging and developing sporting talent. Its mandate includes providing and maintaining sports facilities in the state. The ministry is now the home of school sports, which used to reside in the Ministry of Education. Okay. The youth and cultural mandates of the, for, of the former ministry are now assumed by the Ministry of Human Services and Development. So, listeners and viewers, this is the new uh, thing in Katrina State, according to Malam Nasir Erufai. What are your thoughts? Please do not forget to drop a comment below.